morning. Happy Sabbath. It's great to be part of Sabbath School this morning. Uh, this morning I wanted to share with you a couple of different things. And one of those things uh, will also be going through the process of making a box like this. Um, a couple of things came to mind uh, when I thought about uh, this morning's uh, story or stories. And uh, that is that one, Jesus was very obedient to his parents, his earthly parents. He was also very obedient to his heavenly father as well. One Passover, when Jesus was around 12, uh, as his family had left the Passover with their friends and went back home to, uh, to Nazareth, uh, Jesus was discovered missing. And when they caught up with him and found him back in Jerusalem, he was at the temple. He had been teaching um, and to, to the, uh, the people there in the temple. And they were amazed and in awe of everything uh, that he was saying. And they uh, had a hard time trying to figure out how he knew so much at being only 12. His parents had a difficult time understanding it too because Jesus at one point said that he was going about his father's business. But he, in return, left with them and went back home to Nazareth. Uh, Jesus' mother was uh, confused a little bit, and weren't quite, they weren't quite sure what to uh, think uh, when uh, Jesus had said that he was going about his father's business. Um, but Jesus was very obedient to them, nonetheless. Um, I skip over to uh, quite, a, quite a bit of the head uh, when Jesus was in his ministry. And another story comes to mind where... Jesus was referred to as um, the son of a carpenter. He had been teaching and preaching and, and performing miracles in a nearby town when he decided he was going to his hometown of Nazareth uh, to do the same thing. Well, there at first, uh, the people there of Nazareth accepted what he had said. They were in awe of his teachings until they realized really just who he was. And they thought, wait a minute, is this not the, the same man that grew up here in Nazareth? Isn't his father Joseph a carpenter and his Mar and Mary his mother? And doesn't he have siblings, brothers and sisters that live here? They were confused by what they knew about Jesus growing up and therefore they were really unable to believe Jesus. And they really in turn decided to refuse and turn him away uh, from, from Nazareth. But the carpenter part is the reference that I wanted to really talk about this morning. <clears throat> and um, with that, we're going to go over the process of making this box. And uh, I think it'll be a fun process. Uh, I have a few friends helping me out this morning. You'll see them on the screen. And uh, feel free to just, uh, you know, have fun and laugh along with uh, some of those comments and my friends that are going to show up. And hopefully you get a fun idea of how to make this uh, box and what it's also used for. I use it for a lot of different things. I use it for school. I use it for Sabbath school. And it's just a fun little thing, little project to show you this morning and uh, see what we can do. All right. With that said, let's get started making our box. Okay, so I, I cut my main piece of the board here. Um, but I uh, just want to double check the measurements here and uh, make sure that they are correct. And uh, it's looking, uh, looking good there. Okay, good. And I want to draw that one more line on here using my speed square. Okay. And then I'm going to line this up. And uh, I'm going to double check. Is that where I want it to be? Yes, that is. Okay, we're gonna put that on here. And we're going to get ready to cut this, line it right up with the blade. And uh, I've got my, my goggles on. I don't know if you can see my head or not. Uh, there, so I've got my goggles on and we're gonna go ahead and give this a cut. Okay, I've got my first piece and uh, I will go ahead and uh, cut the rest of these pieces and then we'll, uh, we'll get back with our project. Okay, so you can see here that I went ahead and cut all of my pieces and now I wanna go ahead and uh, start sanding them down a little bit. The board is already pretty smooth so I won't have to do very much on this one. 
those off to the side. Let me get my orbital, orbital sander going here. pretty smooth. Wow, all right. Uh, so I need to do a little bit more work to my edges and the rest of these pieces, and then uh, we'll get back and I'll uh, show you the rest of the, the box. We'll drill some holes together. Now, for the purpose of this video and for my project here, I also want to go ahead and put in some holes uh, so I can screw the pieces together. But I want to start by using this larger bit first. I'll put that in. I'm going to line that up. I've already measured my where my holes are going to go here. So I'm going to line this up. I'm going to give it just a little bit of a hole here towards the top, just so I can sink it in just a little bit. I think I'll go just a little more. Okay. Now, I decided that the first hole I drilled was just a little bit too small, so I had to add a larger bit. So by doing so, I really needed the help of this, of this drill press here to do that. But I'll demonstrate how this works uh, with uh, the boards that I've already done this to. So I'm gonna turn this on and uh, we'll just drill just a little bit down. And just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in uh, this bit here, a smaller bit. I'm going to put that on here and uh, then I'm going to drill all the way through here because this uh, small hole here is just for the head of the screwdriver uh, or the screw itself. So when I uh, put the screw in it'll be countersunk in there and I'm making this project for uh, some kids in school that I work with. And so I wanted to put these holes here, these larger holes, so they definitely know where to put this screw and there won't be any question of where to put it. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, hook that all up. I'll dr finish drilling out my holes and uh, we'll get back and hopefully be able to start putting the uh, box together. As you can see, I'm kind of putting the box together here a little bit, and uh, you can see the holes that I've drilled. Uh, all I need to do now is basically, since I put it back together, I need to drill through the base a little bit and put a pilot hole in there. So when I put the screws in, um, when I put those in, they won't split the wood underneath. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Nice and straight here. Okay, and this one. All right, one more. Good. Okay, again, as usual, I will go ahead and finish the rest of these uh, before we go on. Now, I've gone ahead and put in the screws uh, in most of the box, but I will go ahead and finish this off for us. So I'm going to grab my screwdriver here and um, let's finish putting this one in. All right, that went in nicely. Let's turn it up and over and let's put this one in the top here. Oh yeah, this is going in really nice. 
the kids are going to love putting this together when we go back to school someday. I hope it's soon. Okay, there we go. Let's take that off. That was just to hold things together. And now, oh, that looks really nice. And uh, there's the box. Looks really good. Looks like we could put something in there. Uh, I'm going to end up just having the kids put this together and take it apart. And this will probably uh, do, we'll probably do that uh, a lot of different times throughout the box's history there. So very good. Uh, the box is all finished. You know, Jesus was uh, a carpenter when he was younger, before his ministry started. But I believe that also helped prepare him for his ministry. Uh, he learned to obey his parents. He learned to work with people. He learned to know what it was like to be human, to be able to put things together like this. Because really, Jesus is our creator. And he didn't need to come to this earth and work with his hands like this, but he did that for us. And he did that so he could experience what it's like uh, to be us, exactly. And he did all the things that we normally would do, including building simple things with his father here. And, you know, this wasn't Jesus' home either, but he did that because he loved us. And, you know, when he died and went to heaven, he went home. He went back home. And, you know, I have a story, uh, come to think of it, that uh, just reminds me of another little bit of about that this earth is not our home necessarily. Our home is with Jesus uh, up in heaven. And um, let's hear that story. And thanks for watching.